Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're going to talk about quotas. It's another form of protection, and it can be quite confusing. So, let's get into it. Now, quotas are a restriction on imports. They're a restriction on the number of imports, or perhaps the volume of imports might be a better way. The volume of imports into a country, they control the volume of imports. So quotas are a really strong form of protection because they're saying we're only going to allow X number of imported products into our economy. And so what they do is they actually guarantee domestic producers a share of the market. And that's because quotas restrict the level of foreign competition. If I set the quota really low and I only let in a couple, then I'm really favoring or prioritizing domestic producers. So let's have a think about how this works in terms of a diagram. So what we've got is we've got with a quota, we've got our supply curve that is totally vertical because the level of supply, the level of imports is fixed, right? It is fixed at this level. So what the government can do is it can change the quota. It can change the number of imports that are let in. So for our purpose, let's just say that this is 1000 and we know that this is closer to zero and this is further away so this is getting smaller this is getting larger so let's say that the government wants to increase the level of imports it's letting in so with s2 so if we go from s1 to S2, the level of imports increases. Now I've just put numbers here, but you can see that because we're moving further away from zero, that the level of imports are increasing. So what we've done here is we have increased the number of imports. So we have increased, we've increased the level of the quota. We are letting in more imports. So therefore, we have reduced protection. Now I know this can be confusing a little bit, so let me go back over this. What we've done is we've moved from S1 to S2. So we've gone from S1 to S2. And remember that this is looking at the level of imports. So what's happened is that we have increased the level of imports in the economy by increasing the level of the quota. Before, we only let in 1,000. Now, we're letting in 2,000. So by letting in more imports, we're actually reducing protection because we are increasing the market share of foreign producers. Now, let's flip it. Now, let's say we go from S1 to S3. So now we go this way. And so what we go is we then go from Q1 to Q3. And we're moving closer to zero. You can see here we're going this way. We're going closer to zero. So therefore, the level of imports is falling. We are letting in fewer imports. So we are reducing the level of the quota. Now, if we let in fewer imports, if we are restricting imports, ah, then we are increasing protection. And we increase the market share of domestic producers. So here, if we reduce protection, we increase the market share of foreign producers. If we increase protection here, we're increasing the market share of domestic producers, right? So 
again, if we're looking at blue here, if we increase the quota, increase the quota, reduce protection. If we decrease the quota, we increase protection. And this is what the quota diagram looks like. Okay, so here we go. We're looking at the economic effects of a quota. Um, economic effects of a quota. A quota will stimulate domestic production and employment when, when the quota encourages domestic production. And when will a quota encourage domestic production? If we reduce the import quota, So if we reduce the import quota, we're going to let fewer imports in. And if there are fewer imports, less foreign competition, it's going to increase this domestic production here. That's what this arrow is referring to. It's going to increase that domestic production. Okay. The next point here is that a quota will reallocate resources to protected industries. And that will be in this situation. If domestic firms are being encouraged to produce more, then they're going to attract more resources, right? If we reduce the import quota, so less imports, that's going to increase demand for the resource to go to those protected industries that can now increase market share. Another effect of a quota is that consumers will pay higher prices and receive fewer goods um, because if there are fewer imports, then that price is going to go up for goods. So if there are fewer imports being let in, that will increase the price of imported goods. Okay, so quotas do not generate revenue for governments. Quotas are just setting a limit. A government doesn't collect revenue from the quotas. The final point is that there's the potential for retaliation with quotas. So if we set a quota uh, on a very low quota for imported goods from one country, then they might get annoyed and set a quota on goods from our country. So it could be kind of like that tit for tat effect where uh, quotas will beget quotas in other countries. So Australia sets a quota on Chinese imports, China does the same and that the overall effect is to reduce the benefits of trade across the economies, even across the world economy too. Okay, so we've just had a look at quotas. Uh, make sure you check out some of the other videos on the methods of protection. Uh, the tariff one, the tariff one is particularly worth your while, uh, but don't forget subsidies either. Okay, thanks for watching.